Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to make buffalo chicken deviled eggs. Add a twist to the classic and surprise your guests with something new. I have four eggs that I boiled. We're gonna start off by cutting them in half and putting the egg yolks in the bowl. I'm gonna mash the egg yolks in my bowl so that way it's easier to mix. The exact measurements for this recipe will be labeled in the description box down below. Now let's get into it. I'm gonna add my seasonings. Salt, pepper, and Old Bay seasoning, and then mix it around. After my seasonings, I'm gonna add the mayonnaise, the mustard, Worcestershire, hot sauce. I use a very mild hot sauce, by the way. If you like it spicier, then add whatever hot sauce that you like. And I'm gonna mix all of that together until it's mixed up nice and good. Now that we've got our mixture together, we're gonna add the chicken. Make sure that you chop the chicken up very finely. I just use rotisserie chicken, but you can use whatever kind of chicken you'd like. And then the best part about this, blue cheese. If you don't like blue cheese, you don't have to use it, but I love blue cheese, so I'm using it. And then mix everything together again. Now let's stuff our deviled eggs. I cut a hole in a Ziploc bag, so that way I can control it more and they come out looking better than if I scoop them in, but feel free to scoop them in if you want to. And also because I have chunks of blue cheese and chicken, it would get stuck if I used a regular piping tip, which I like to do for normal deviled eggs. But this will be just fine. Now that we've stuffed our deviled eggs, we sprinkle the top with paprika, as always. Then we're going to add a little bit of hot sauce. I don't like to use a spicy one for the topping because a lot of people can't take it. Just a regular one. We're going to drizzle a little bit of hot sauce on top. Only for decoration, by the way. And then sprinkle it with a little bit of parsley. These are how my buffalo chicken deviled eggs look once they've been fully decorated. If you want to see more videos of me in the kitchen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.